Anytime we have numbers here on the left that are even, we're just passing down the entirety of that product to the next row. Eventually, of course, ending at one no matter what. Anywhere along the way that we divided something and had to discard a remainder, that must have meant that the thing we were dividing was odd. And so when we go back later to add those rows back in, we are keeping, essentially, that bit of the product that we discarded. Fundamentally, what this is showing us is actually a process of binary multiplication. If you consider these numbers down the left side of the table, not individual numbers, but actually places in a binary number, every time we have an odd number that we keep that value on the right side, we're going to represent that with a 1, and every time we have an even number, we're going to ignore that. So here, the left side is basically encoding the binary number 11,010, but of course it's not a 1,000 because it's a binary number. In binary, we're looking at the 16's place, the 8's place, and the 2's place. The right side of the table is giving us the value to multiply each one of those places by from the binary number. So our product for 26 times 15 is really 16 15s plus 8 15s plus 2 15s, which you'll notice is exactly what the right side of the table was keeping track of for us. So that's the trick. If I were explaining this to a kid, I would basically explain we're passing down some number of 15s at each step in the process, and whichever rows happen to have an odd number on the left are actually just telling us keep that number of 15s and add it back together at the end. Not the standard algorithm by any means, but definitely a cool way to multiply.